so greatly praised. But it's mercy over. Lord, do it. And mercy for it forever. I said, do it. And his mercy is for forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So you praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Let everybody have a dead. All the people. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let them know. Praise the Lord. Let them know. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we love you. We pray for events for what you're doing. In Jesus' name we pray. And and amen. Amen. We'll say go to somebody over for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, good evening. Welcome, welcome home. And yes, you are here with us for a wisdom. Thank you so much. I'm going to take a few seconds and welcome you. Thank you again for being with us. That you chose to come and hang out with us here on Friday night. We have a simple and easy task for you. Very easy as one, two, three. Step one. I would love for you to find a connect artist this evening. Welcome on the front, net on the back. If you skin step number two is to call out to your and we'll take a cat. I don't want to say cat. 100% say 100%. And then we want to do a kid with you. Don't worry, we won't identity. Thank you for the I appreciate that. And seven, five, 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 you want to take it out of the car. You feel so we connect you and we're not miss your identity. Um, but I've got a couple of announcements for you tonight. I'm so excited that you get picked up the full name series. I see someone was doing it apparently on the our full name package is this week gonna work in like six days in. So you still have like seven to seven. But you get the point. Only like pick up your package just do two a day for work and you'll be so make sure you go get your pack. I also want you to go out and be ones so you can so that's about if you come to church and now if you twenty when the twenty first we will be here. Really hard to be on Wednesday but Tuesday the twentieth this is how Monday with family on Thanksgiving. It's great, you know, it's family. Um, well, on Tuesday, November 20th, that you use, <laughs> and we're going to be celebrating with, we're going to have a midweek service on Tuesday. For the we're going to have a with Pastor Chris. This is his idea. Great idea. If you call a pot. He's like, I, we are doing wait, wait a minute, what kind of pie you 
way. Oh, 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 oh. It ain't pecan that I can, right? Who's the pecan, right? Yeah. No. Just a little bit. I'm going to keep it just involved. We're going to have pie. Pastor, you have a problem. You and hang out. Russell, your wife's putting on. Take care of your wife. It's hot in here. We're coming for pie. No, we usually don't have service. We come, and I was like, and we'll come hang out because this is what kind of the Lord. <laughs> Peanut butter cup pie, and I'm eating it. <laughs> you know, you for its wife. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we're in it. Sing. So, the Lord, I'm going to go sit there. What kind of pie? You know? I'll buy it. Pumpkins? <laughs> Apple? Robert, it's like, get it. And I want ice cream. We make pie and ice cream. It's all people that come and ride down the main field on Sunday. I'll send people in order to go. Here, um, Because we're out of walls. 
I had vi vision. It was pretty long, you know. It was like, you know, I started seeing rows of was weird. It wasn't but I had four people. I'll keep on Sunday. This was all. What I had was like an open. It was like 50 people. I was like, man, you know, I went up here. And I had rows of people, like four rows of Like four. Like, have you ever seen somebody go for a trip and it's moving? They were flying down to and I'm like, oh my god. And I'm like, it looked like just flying, like four rows of pack and like flying near the road. People just doing that. And I swear to you, I started asking is that what I think? Is that what I want? The way everyone like uh, the heart just like got me a piece. Like we can't both of these people now. And it means like, we gotta be the church. And I think we all try to do you do outreach and you go and you try and you know it's somewhat full, but it's not fruitful and kind of go, well, okay, and start talking about Hell, dig it. Well, they're fine. Hey, we got to and the most violently come out after. And so, the heart really minded. It's important. It's our responsibility. Amen. So, God, really, it's been time to get here, but we really reach glory to God. I want nobody to perish. I want nobody to come to everlasting life. Lord God, we're going to go do our job. We're going to be here. We're going to have a name. Lord, go back to the chapter. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to help you. If you'll listen to me. This is a sign of love. I'm going to trust somebody in their money. I'm being serious. I really need to care about you. You're going to get stretched if you really want to. It's not my own. They're at the level of one Because I don't want to know what's going on. Malachi 3 and 10 says, bring your When you When you get a command, you trust somebody with freedom. And it's not about getting something from you. Getting something to you. You understand the principles of child, maybe even your way. You're in a great way to understand the potential that makes sense. Now you're going to see it in half. You're talking about something under the foreign way to bring how the problem heaven down. Here's the thing. Something here is being people joyful. We talk about people. Because here's the thing. You stretch in the earth and give it. You never get to the point where you can get it. God's on a stretch principle. See, here's the thing. If you squat up, if you squat your ass, that's the only way you get in another dimension. To a whole place. So we're, we're bringing the principles of service, but it's going to hard to suffer. Okay? So we're starting with basic principles. Tithe based I it's not like that was yo. Okay. What do you mean? like a lot? You got TV so it's really it's really about oh it would be be like a story to you. Can you afford to be back? Just keep gonna put my offering to me the full increase. That okay. Tie he's protected in the moon of my offering. Now I think like so I was talking to See, if I come in and say, hey, I'm going to right now. Watch. Full room. What are you really doing there? I'm just talking. I'm teaching you something. If I got to do that, something that's going to excite other people, it's not for you. See, you got to buy How many, how many, something, I'm teaching you about money. Have you ever, have you ever, this, 
money, money, money. You want to talk about money and money's power over you. You use it and basically manipulate it. Makes it all when you walk away, money. So like, say job, right? This you were like a big job. Imagine if God came to you in the middle of the night and said, "You're a business guy. There's a woman doing a wonderful job." I said, hey, "By the way, I want you to do your job. Leave what you're doing. I want you to be a missionary in Africa." Right? So you would the next day going, "God, how in the world what would you looking for?" Oh, wait. What's up? It's up. Jerry, go to Africa. First thing is, is that the Hey, you think is that What would you do for? Connie came next way. But Jerry, the world mission like this thing is And you come in there and you put them on the next level of heart. Get the bears with spirit. So you hear now, here, here's my, here's my, where I am, where I will. You see, it? it's not a valuable, but the challenge there. Oh my God, people get this, we're trying to get a dollar. And it's for you. Somebody, you the dimension of hell. I see, it challenges you to get, it challenges you to go up. You know, what was the time? So it's where you're comfortable. Gather the place your heart until you break the door. That's the principle of learning. Be careful. Don't be quick. You fail to understand what you're doing. Go to understand what you're doing. You're just a good man. I pray that God. I pray that God sometimes. You're going to ask you. You're going to find the rocks. Pack, right? I've been the only one And I'm preaching church in heaven. This is weird. And I'm preaching great. I'm trying to get greater than the end. In the last of everything you have in comes to you, have a question. Got the light on the other side of the world. You know, that's your fate. Man, I'm. I need, I need, I need questions. Because questions are just waiting. I get the answer, I've got another level. I mean, I hope you say something. If you say something, I can connect something. Let me out of where I want to be. Somebody's got to challenge me to go. You guys, you're getting it. Just so, somebody you can't catch. You can each level, go to the level, and challenge me And you shit just want for you to reward. Come on, somebody. But kid is the ball. I gotta be in an environment where I can sort of go to that. Most environments won't let you do that. You'd be right back. Because here's where you get trouble with money, and I'm gonna quote because you're getting in the pyramid. So no one can people wants to do Then you know in trouble, you tell them you're reward for given. Would you give when you reward it all day long? Once you tell them put a man in the fight. Never problem. Yeah, so turn. You learn. Your seed you get you start. See, dream boards make a dream board. Connect to that dream board. Look at you. they look rather than around you. Thank you. You need to connect every desire. Once you need to connect every desire, and he'll get you. Once you break financial limitation, let me tell you what you've conquered women. It's in earth. Earth is all about money. Bless you. Everyone cares about money. Money's moving the world. In the world, man, you to do it and move you. You demand you create because you 
dominion. You got dominion. You got it. And he power. He, he, who who power to get what? God. Who's in man? But he did. Now the church for now. That is my seed. Stop my heart. I'm going to get the harvest. But if I sow, guess what? Seed. It's going to come back. It's a law. He said it day and night. The seed is. It's coming. That's what it's teaching. Everything you did. Teach you everything you know. I want you to. Thing I do, I man. Wednesday night, people are good. You're good. You just see the hand. Man, what I do? <laughs> I got called. Oh, <laughs> and you forgot. I'll tell you. You tell God. You ask God. Say God. So much money. This I'm believing for. This is what I'm expecting. Better now, I'm getting grand, ten grand, hundred. I don't know. I got to run out. Tell God. No, because you ask, you got to ask. It'll be. See, I'll ask. And I say, say, devil. You mean devil? Right now, I hand myself. She, angel, you. Only. Thank you for bringing the heart now. A Jesus name. Amen. Amen. The Lord, the God. I don't know about you, but I do. I flip over. But I can't really get this right in my school. Because you guys get all like, uh, you like going back. I think you want to like, go away for a while. Off somewhere, and just go with the best. Um, hard to be sure. Well, you guys not spiritually used here, so you a little bit, but we really broke our old. Now we really favor some of me. Some guy, and get approval, and she that. They need, they need five. They need God. I was level two, and then I was level I was, I'm like, I'm just trying to get these women that I don't know to eat. Ghosts of it. You know, he did the thing he needed to do. Because you can do it. And now I got three really response. I heard he did. It was me, which is good. We got present here. I can somebody about me being in but I want one gentleman. Send it out. Have you he said family? He's like right? Like, right. We're like he said I not even take out the rebel of the family for it personally. He goes, leave it to you to be the rebel of the family. Good. I'm gonna go start Kick up the dust because I want to know of them. When are you doing it? Are you sending it? Do it right here. Really going on the right. And it's how we doing it. My pastor just, you know, he's going to do it. You know, yeah. He's going to call the church. I'll talk to him. Tell him. I'll do that with the church. Do you want me to do a video for you? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'll do a video for something like that for anybody. Hey, wait, thanks for doing this with you. Are you a kid? Hey, I'll come in and we'll put together. I come in with mom. It was my idea. Don't blame her, but me. I'll do whatever you want. Yeah, I need to care. I know you're in hell. I'm in the house. I'm telling you, you're in a whole lot more than you think. I'm 
complaining. How much I am? Why is this? Why is that? Why is this? Why? I would pray. Amen. Come on. I'm losing the plane. You hear what? Who's the plane? Amen. The police come out your mouth. Then you go. Amen. Come on. Come on. Get the police on your mouth. Amen. Go. Here we go. Wow. I don't know what you do. I don't know. They I It's Tuesday. Hi, Tuesday. I know about Monday. You guys better put your own in. If you don't show up, all the people don't show up, they missed it. Prayer, I'll say this. It's a big days. Go to uh, go to Philippians 4 and 4. It says rejoice, and they say always rejoice, right? I want you to understand that prayer and prayer are together. And prayer is always good. And prayer is good. Yeah, does. When you put one else together, the other, prayer, prayer, and prayer is the best. Okay? Prayer, pray. Enter in for these games. Then he plays in your mouth. That's why I come to the thing in. Amen. Let's pray. Let's say the Bible says this in the It's, um, to me, it says, so it's not to be one, but the Holy Ghost is in your heart and sons in his spirit. So they can only be in your heart. And then unto the Lord. Then I go speak to myself. To myself. Self seems strong and to make it hard. I haven't said about how it has been. I'm speaking to myself and some of him. Some of the spirit is strong. And you come up out of your spirit. That's how you stay filled. Speaking to your, You stay filled speaking to yourself. Amen? It's a lost art. We don't talk like this in church. That's what you speaking to myself. You start speaking to yourself. How do you mean speak your show? Glory to God. Confessing the word of God, speaking to yourself, and praying. Praying. You ain't going to make a spectacle of it. Just walk around the office. Say, you go watch Speaking to yourself. That means you can't hear me. Speaking to yourself. Slow, still, easy. That's how I stay filled with the Holy Ghost. Well, you stay filled with the Holy Ghost. This world can't do nothing to you. You'll laugh at it. When your spirit's settled, you'll laugh at all this stuff. What are you going to do to me? can't do nothing to me. can't do nothing to me. Because greater is he that's in me. If you could beat God, you could beat me. But if God can't be beat, then I can't lose. Come on, somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's how you got to see yourself. You stay right there. Stay in God. Don't come out of him. You stay in God. Don't come out. Stay right there. So look what it says here. It says rejoice. So I gotta have I gotta have praise, thanksgiving, right? Worship. Put them all together. But he said this. He said rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. So keep your joy joy level filled. Okay. Why is my joy level filled messed up? Because your for your because your focus is messed up. Okay. Whatever you focus on becomes the atmosphere of where your praise comes from. That's why we complain too much. We got our focus messed up. Change your focus. I change your feelings. Change your feelings, I change your mouth. How I change your mouth, change what you're focusing on. See what I'm saying? Now listen to me, don't get mad at me, but some of you, you know what I mean? I want you to get this. Some of you say, well, I battle with some stuff. You battle with some stuff because you let your mind go where it should not go. You understand what I just said? Now I'm helping you, don't get mad at me. Don't be like, well, my therapist said, well, God bless your therapist, but let's go real slow. If I could change what you focus on, I could change what you feel. The problem is most people don't guard their mind. They let their mind wander. And all you creative ability ones that are very creative in your head, you're a little whimsical, you're, good, you're cool, God bless you, but you're a little bit, woo you know what I mean? You got to hold that thing in a little bit, 
Come on. I'm not talking to you. Calm down. You know how to listen. But you know what I'm saying? Some of you guys get all, woo you know what I mean? And all you people get a little out there. Now, look, I understand that. That's cool. That's your gifting. I'm down with it. But go slow. You just can't let this, this, this rabbit wheel go off where it wants to go. That hamster just running, running. Go slow. You got to keep this. He'll keep you in perfect peace who keeps his mind stayed on the Lord. Amen? Focus is the hardest thing to get. Broken focus is a broken dream. You ever try to pay attention to this? I, I, you know how hard it is to keep my mind? They say, you know, ADs and all this, HDs and that. Man, I got AD, HD, whole D, that D, speedy. I got million mile an idea, mind, PCP head. I don't, come on, come on. Come on, are you kidding me with this nonsense? These guys are nuts, half these people would all. You got this. I said, no, 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 no. I have a human mind. And if you got a human mind, you have to contain it with one thing. One thing, your spirit. Your spirit overrides your natural mind. Think upon these things. Listen, I'm trying to help you. I know it's work. Listen, I'm not making, listen, I'm not belittling handling these things, guys. I'm not trying to make fun. Please don't take this the wrong way. I'm not making fun when I talk like this. I'm trying to show you how to do it. It takes work. It's work. Praise is work, because guess what? I don't want to do it all the time. It's a sacrifice. But then you know what they all want to do? You want to be half carnal. I'm going to make somebody mad, and I can care less. You want to be half carnal, and then you want to wonder why your head's messed up. Your head's messed up because your mind's messed up because you're carnal. That's why. Oh, you can't be opening the door to the devil saying, well, you know, I'm going to party a little here and do a little this, a little that, and then I'm going to do a little this, a little that. I'm going to leave a little door open over here, a little door open over there, but then I'm going to come over here and dominate. He will smack you in the head because he don't play fair because he's evil, the devil. So you know what you do with him? Shut him out, lock the door, don't let him in, and start dominating him, and he will leave you alone because he's scared of you. But you can't be playing both sides of the fence and think you're going to discipline him. He'll laugh in your face because he ain't a punk. He'll fight you. But here's the one thing you will do. When you lock the door, he will run the other way because he's scared of you. But every time we look like we should not look, we defame our position in Christ, not based upon position of perspective, but mentality of a picture. What does that mean? That means this, that my spiritual condition is perfect, but my what? My place in the flesh is not where it needs to be. So what does that do? It ruins my cod consciousness, and now I don't feel bold as a lion. I look like a kitten in a window. See it? So what do I do? Keep your life, the only reason why you keep your life straight is so you can keep your mind fixed. Is that all right? Let me get out of here because I'm, I'm picking up the atmosphere, and if you pick up the atmosphere, I'll be here. That's why I, they, I should stay on the platform. It's the truth. If I get around you, I'll pick up where you're going. That's why I, I swear, if they were smart around here, they'd force me to stay on there, but I won't do it. But, you know, because I, I'll pick the atmosphere up. I get around you, I'll pick up, I could pick up your head. It, it, I'm, I'm serious, this ain't like normal church. I'll pick up your head. I'll pick up what's in the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? It'll happen. So I'm picking up somebody's stuff. Like, why am I mind like this? Your mind's like this because you've got to shut it down. And how do I shut it down? I just told you. I'm going to teach you how to do it. You know what you're going to do when you leave here? Well, I don't know if I want to do that. Then you can't get mad at the ideas you got in your head. You don't look at me. Jesus done told you what to do with it. Smack them right out. I Look, I had to do it. Listen to me. I got saved. I thought I was lost. Let me tell you right here. I got saved, and the devil, he picked on me for the first month. I thought, my God in heaven, I might be the devil. I said, where in the world is this crazy thinking coming from? I'm saved and got the Holy Ghost praying in tongues, and the devil is speaking this crazy nonsense to my mind. And he, say, he, he was like, what kind of Christian are you thinking that? I said, not a good one because this is really bad ideas. You know what I'm saying? You ever get there? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saved, go to church, love the Lord, and you got these ideas coming in your head, and you think, and I was by myself, so I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me, man. Maybe I ain't as saved as I think I am. I'm saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, you know, praying in the Spirit, blah, 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 she can't read in the Bible, cover to cover, getting all in. I'm like, this is great. And then I'd sit there, and get, the devil would come with some crazy idea, some loony bird idea, like, out in left field. I was like, I can't be that saved thinking that junk. That is not God. And the Lord would like, would, you know, try to encourage me. I would reject it because I'm like, how could you be a Christian and have those kind of ideas in your head? 
I said, maybe I ain't saved. I was doubting all of it. Maybe I ain't saved. Maybe I don't have all this. How can you be having God and think like this? And then one day the Lord showed me, he said, he said this. He said, let me show you something here. He said, a thought is a seed like a container in a barrel. And the devil has a right because of the fall of man to bring the seed into the container called your mind. It's up to you if you plant it with the seed with your mouth. But just because it comes to your mind doesn't mean it's your thought. And the Lord taught me, he said, you've never had an original thought a day in your life. Everything that comes to you came from one dimension or another dimension. And once you understand they're not my thoughts, then you start understanding what I need to do with them. So wait a minute, I've never had an original thought a day in my life, so where are they coming from? They're coming from God or they're coming from the devil. I don't even want to say you because they originated someplace. Amen? And the place they originated was not in your intellect or your what? Believability of who and what you could create because I got news for you. You never had an original thought a day in your life. It came from somewhere. So the Lord's teaching me it's like a kernel in your head or a seed in the ground or a seed in a container. It goes nowhere unless you plant it with your mouth. And that's the object of the enemy to get it so strong in your head it finally starts coming out of your mouth. And I got it. I said, okay, just because it hits my head doesn't mean, doesn't mean it's my thought. Yes. So don't get it coming out your mouth. Now I'm going to show you the backwards discipline of it. Number one, don't speak it. Don't ever speak it. Now watch this. He won't leave you alone. The devil's persistent. He's not foolish. He understands that he knows how to do this. But I'm going to teach you how to whoop him. When, now watch. Once you get good at not speaking it, guess what will start happening? You'll start refuting the thoughts of your mind. Okay? Go, go to 2 Corinthians 10. We're here. Might as well stay here. 2 Corinthians 10. Sorry. So every thought you got, everybody say, every thought I have came from God or the devil. That's it. Locator. Go to 2 Corinthians 10, 3. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. For we walk in the flesh, yet what? We do not war after the flesh. See it? For the weapons of our warfare are what? Not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing in, to, and, and, bringing in and bringing in and bringing in to captivity every thought. Here we go. Every thought's got to be captured. And then you got to discipline it, bringing every thought into obedience of Christ. Watch this. Look at 6. And having a readiness to revenge all disobedience. That means discipline the wrong thoughts that come into your mind. Go back to 10.3. I'm going to set you free and show you how to fix your mind forever. i got to stay here right now. Hold, a whole agenda is out the window. Yeah, it's gone. Motes are off the, window, off the plate. I am going to teach you tonight how to have overcoming victory in every area of your mind. If you can tr master your focus, you could change your world. If this whole world is about focus. It's all about focus. Whatever you focus on, I can get you to see. When you don't focus, I can't get you nowhere. It's the truth. You have to focus. Focus is hard. Try to focus on something more than five minutes. It's almost impossible. Something else is coming. I got to slow your processor down. And the only way to slow your processor down is I got to slow you down internally. The only way to slow you down internally is to get you into a spirit place. Spirit place will slow everything down. The problem is we got life coming at us so fast, sometimes we don't understand how. I'll show you how. Look what he says. We're going to go slow. We're going to go nowhere tonight but right here. You have to master your mind. Okay? Because the enemy knows this, that if it gets in your mind, you'll project the image on an outward stage, and it's dangerous. Okay? But look, remember the Tower of Babel? Remember the Tower of Babel? Tower of Babel says, a bunch of people on the earth go, hey, I got an idea. What? Let's go build a bridge from earth to heaven. Sounds stupid, doesn't it? This is what I said. They said, this is what we're going to do. Can you imagine this? You guys show up Sunday and go, I got a great idea. What are you doing, Pastor? We got, like, helmets, you know, machinery. What are we going to do? We're going to go in the back, and we're going to build a bridge. Where are we going? Heaven. People are like, Time to find a new church. What are you talking about? We're going to build a bridge. You'd be looking at your neighbor like, I'm all excited about it. Yay, let's go build a bridge. From earth to heaven. You're like, uh, okay. You'd be looking at your neighbor going, ready? Well, guess what? They did it. And God said, wait a minute. They were in one accord, one mind, all saying the same thing. And God left heaven to come and touch the earth 
and confound the language. That's why we got the languages we got in the earth right now. That's why you got people in Belgium speaking French, and you got people over here speaking Spanish, and you got people over there speaking. Why? Because a bunch of people in the earth were going to build the bridge. They would have did it. How? How in the world do I know? I don't know how. I don't know how you send a rocket in the air and this thing comes back, they touch the moon. I don't know. I don't know how they start my car. Okay? But I know it works. You know what I'm saying? Are you here? So how in the world God said, no, if they're in one accord with one mind saying the same thing, they'll do it. So go down there and mess up the language and confuse them all because if they could all be on unity, saying the same thing, thinking the same thing, being the same thing, they could pull it off. Boy, that should get you excited. Because if I can get in one accord with God, woo, come on, somebody. You know what I'm saying? If people can get in one accord, they could do it. I just had a great teaching moment. I won't tell you what it was. You know what I mean? Because it was funny. But the Lord showed me something. If you can get unity in prayer, you can change the world. The Lord just schooled me. I, I, did, I prayed something, right? I'm not going to tell you all the details. I'll just tell you real quick. I prayed something with somebody. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Don't be a snitch. Okay? So, uh, okay? Because snitches get stitches and wind up in ditches. Don't be a little snitch. All right? You know what I'm saying? Some of you know what I'm saying. Back in the day, y'all like in a gang. You know what happened? You get to, you get talk too much, you get you get stitches. Don't look all wild like that. Some of you like flashing. Get, you got to be careful, man. It's on the internet. You know, what I mean? get nobody mad, man. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But don't don't be the church's enemy. Be for us, Amen. Be for us. Be for us, Amen. Be for us. Otherwise, you lose elections, Amen. Praise the Lord. Be for us. Amen. That's not for the big stuff. That was a little stuff. Don't try to shut my. Don't try. Don't come against my program. You know. Hey, let's make a public service announcement while I'm at it. Let me just meddle a little bit. This ain't got nothing to do with the higher up stuff. So don't get nervous. So I said, but don't try to mess with my ministries out there and try to win stuff. You can't win. I cannot be defeated, and I will not quit. And I come back from the dead if I gotta. Remember that. Amen. Quote me there. All right. Praise the Lord. That felt good just to get out, Dennis. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Don't mess with you know, you know, you don't know what I'm talking about. Probably better off you don't know. But so you know what I mean? We got a little outreach. We got a little outreach. You know our little outreach we do? Well, they got all excited about our little outreach. Jerry knows what I'm talking about. Don't tell on me, Jerry. I know you're good. Jerry, I know if anybody can keep a secret, it's you, bro. (laughs) Right? So we got a little outreach, and they kind of came against the outreach we got, and then they tried to, you know, do some stuff, some people, and it was really wrong. It wasn't nice, but we played nice. We played very nice. But we prayed really cool prayers. (laughs) And, you know, we had a little thing that was, you know, city had elections and stuff like that. And guess who won? The church. Ain't that something? Pray, pray God. Yeah, how'd that happen? I don't know, but don't be my enemy. It's dangerous. All right, next. Let's go to the next thing so I can keep my anointing flowing. It's going to flow even stronger now. Glory to God. Why? Because, hey, praise the Lord. So they're trying to build a bridge from earth to heaven. That's crazy. God said, you better mess it up because if you don't, they'll do it. What's going to happen? So I prayed this prayer, right? So I prayed with somebody. I prayed with some, somebody. Church stuff. I prayed. I left, and the other day, I was, do, was getting ready to go, and I prayed something. I said, oh, God, just do this. Boom. God was like, all right. Well, guess what? I go, and I do my thing. I come back, and what I prayed didn't work. I got kind of annoyed with that. I said, why, why don't you do what I asked you to do? And I had forgot about my first prayer. He said, you prayed over here and agreed. And you can't undo with your singular faith what you did with the prayer of agreement. So I don't even listen to you the second time. He said, you prayed and agreed over there. I did what, I, what you asked me to do, and when I did it, you can't override it with your faith singularly because you got a group agreement here, and you did what I did, and that's why I got done. I said, ain't that a son of a gun? You'd be learning every day if you're listening. I said, what'd you say? He said, I can't undo what you agreed over there. He said, you prayed and you'd agreed. He goes, you released your faith, didn't you? I said, why doesn't it work sometimes? Somebody didn't release their faith, but when I pray, I release my faith. Don't you ever forget that. Don't play with no flippant prayers. Don't be like these people, oh, I'll pray, and then don't even release your faith. That don't work. But when you release your faith in agreement, guess what? It's stronger than your singular faith by itself. The Lord rebuked me. He said, you can't ask me to undo what you already told me to do because your faith ain't strong enough by itself. When you got agreement, he said, two, you touching any one thing and shall what? Agree. It's done. Come on. He didn't say, that. look, I know speak to a mountain. He goes, you can speak to a mountain all day long. You asked me to do something. I did it. You're not going to override and undo what you agreed about. I said, wow, that's a good one, man. I'm just telling you, that's good, right? So find somebody with faith to agree and just let it happen. That's why unity is important. That's why church agreement is powerful. You understand what I'm saying? No, don't get me wrong. Your singular faith will do stuff. Don't get, you know, I'm not trying to get you off that. But if you pray and agree, we pray and agree, and we in faith, we lock, bam, we got it. Go over here, try to undo it. You ain't going to undo it. It's going to happen. That's to get you encouraged. 
You know what I mean? And the Lord, I said, you're right, Lord. I did pray that. We did agree on that. Yes, you did. He said, you can't be over here praying this little prayer. Oh, don't let nothing do. And then uh, you, you, you prayed. He reminded me. I didn't even think of it. I said, God, well, what's up? He said, I, you told, I listened to what you told me. Don't try to undo it over there. You already released your faith in agreement over here. You can't undo it now. I said, well, I forgot about it. Sorry, sir. I repent. I don't even remember. Did you get that? So find somebody with faith and agree. And don't pray with people that don't got no faith. You know what I'm saying? Get those people like, yeah, I pray for you. Well, you better have faith if you pray with me. Amen? You know what I'm saying? Release faith or don't pray. And I don't like that, oh, it's unspoken. Don't pray those goofy prayers. That's so goofy. You want to pray, I got an unspoken prayer. Well, then oh, speak it for yourself and leave me alone. Leave me out of it. If you can't tell me what it is, how can I get faith for it? Can you pray someone? No, I can't pray no unspoken prayer with you. What are we believing for? I don't, we, I know. Well, then you pray yourself. It's the God's honest truth. I was in Belgium. They're all looking at me like, what do we do? I said, I ain't praying none of that pray through you proxy stuff. It works once in a while. I said, give me a handkerchief and apron. I see that in the Bible. I, I, was get, I took so many handkerchiefs and aprons off people. I said, I want a clean one. Don't bring me no dirty thing you sneezed in. Give me a good one. I got a good one. I released faith. I said, go lay on hands on the sick. Paul laid hands on handkerchiefs. And I don't see nowhere in the Bible somebody laid hands on somebody else and somebody got something. It'll work with faith, but it's stretching my faith. Why don't I just function in what I know to be the truth? We had the lady walk off her deathbed. Remember that? He came, the guy, the, the, the landscaper guy. You don't know what I'm talking about? The girl in Georgia, she was dying. She's on her deathbed. She was going to be dead in 24 hours. You don't remember? Van came. Hello. Anybody in here remember? My mother remembers. You remember. Miss Roseanne's the only one paying attention. Right? So, anyway, so he, she came, right? What did we do? Remember? We prayed hands on her. She got up, started walking around. They're like, what in the world is going on? She's supposed to be dead. She got up, got all fixed up. Everything was going smooth, right? How'd that happen? He said, you got to pray for my daughter. I prayed for the daughter. I said, God, desperate means, desperate means. But guess what? I said, if I got a handkerchief and apron, what can I do? Lay hands on it, release power, and go. I see that in the Bible. If we got to do it, we can't get a handkerchief and apron over there in 24 hours. She's dying. Faith will work. Amen? But if I can get, just be scriptural. Stay scriptural. Are you all right tonight? Am I too ornery? Amen? No, I'm funny. Come on. We're going to have pie on next couple Tuesdays. Let's, let's just, you guys going to come for pie? All right. Well, you got to put your order in. Go see Roxanne. Tell them what you want. A pie? Yeah, we're going to eat pie. How are you going to eat pie with the anointing? We'll eat pie. I could probably eat and preach. It'll be great. Eat, preach, and go. It's only 8 o'clock. I got like 12 more minutes. Okay, ready? So come on. So we got to get in unity in one accord. Great, wonderful, I got it. Thanks, Pastor. Now what? He said if these people didn't get confused with language, they would have got it done. What's that mean? What's going to happen when you're in one accord with what the Bible says? You can do anything. Now look at this. Now get this. 2 Corinthians 10, 3. For the weapons, for the we walk in the flesh, we don't war after the flesh. Stop thinking this is natural. Nothing's natural. Everything is spiritual, just shows up in the natural. He said, everything you see is temporal, subject to change. Everything spiritual lasts forever. Okay, here we go. Look at verse more. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. Strongholds are just ideas that build a fortress in your mind. Wrong ideas. Some of you got broke fortresses. Hey, I need your wife to make cakes. Okay, because I have pie with pastor. I need pies. Okay, that's the one assignment I give you all year long. Get it done, all right? Whatever you got to do, take her to dinner, be nice, but you got to get her to bake. Okay, fair? Okay, good. Make it happen. You've been married for like 20 years. I'm pretty sure you get me some pies. All right, good. For the weapons of our war, I've sent you as an apostle. Be nice, be kind. For the weapons of our warfare, are you guys back? Come on. For the weapons of our warfare are not fleshy. You can't punch somebody in the head and solve your problems. You're not, you know, you, this isn't about fighting and being stupid. You could, you could argue all day long, you're not going to win. You get in arguments, it ain't going to happen. This is not a, 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 a physical fight. It's a spiritual fight that works in the spirit realm. And once you get in the physical realm, you're lost already, so don't go there. You know what I'm saying? So stay in the spirit. Brother Hagin always used to say this. You keep him in the arena of faith, and don't ever let him get you in the arena of reason. If you take the devil in the arena of faith, you'll whoop him every time. But if he gets you in the arena of reason, you're going to lose. So don't go there. It's kind of hiding Jesus. I kind of see me going like, nah, 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 I'm not coming out. <laughs> yeah, Be a buster. Be like, nah, 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 I'm not, I'm not coming out. I'm staying right in here. I don't understand. I don't care. I don't want to know. I'm chilling out in Jesus. I'm in it, Christ. I ain't in Chris. I'm in Christ. Chris is dead. He's gone. 
I'm in Christ, and I'm staying in Christ because it's better, and I don't understand. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't coming out. Stay there. Do what Jesus said. It might not look like it's working, but it's got to work because it's the gospel. Is that okay? Is that, is that transparent? It don't look like it's working sometimes, but it is. It's got to work. So don't, 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 don't worry about it. Like, I don't see I, I don't Don't worry about it. It got to work. Just don't quit. But mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. So it's going to pull strongholds out, right? Watch this. Cast down. Imagination. What's that? Pictures coming to your mind. Where did my idea of pictures come from? They didn't come from God, some of them. And every high thing that exalts itself against what? What's the knowledge of God? The word. Everything contrary to this word, what do you got to do? Put it in check. Now, here we go, right? Uh, here we go. Here comes the work. Everybody say, here comes the work. This is what most people don't care. That's, they'll, stay, they'll stay in another world because they don't want to do the work. This is what the Lord showed me. He said, if you could shut your mouth about speaking the things he brings to your head sooner or later, and you discipline, he will leave you. Man, I, got the, I put the devil on the run. That joker had me running. That joker had me running in the beginning. Man, I was mind coming at your mind, coming at your mind. I said, I just kept disciplining him. You know what happened? He left and never came back. Never came back. What do you mean he never came back? He never came back like that. He tries every once in a while. He came to Jesus three times and tried to tempt him. You don't think he's going to try to tempt you? He came to Jesus three times. Three times that joker didn't even leave. Three times he said, it's written. He said, yeah, well, I'm going to try again. It's written. He said, yeah, I'm going to try again. It's written. He said, all right, that's good. I'll be back, though. He said, for a time. That means he's coming back. He, he's going to come back. But guess what? You get so good at seeing him coming, you're ready for him. Oh, that ain't my idea. Listen to me. Write this down. Some of you have to stop taking ownership of the ideas that are coming in your head. They're not yours. Stop taking ownership of the ideas that come into your head. They're not yours. It's kind of like this. Do you hug the delivery guy when he shows up with the package? Does anybody walk out and go, oh, the mailman's here? Unless she's like, you know, oh, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy. Oh, it's so good to see you. No, give me my box and get the heck out of here. Praise the Lord. Let's go. Where's my stuff? Come on, right? You guys, look, come, tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? Are you there? Hello? You get all excited when the mailman comes and go, oh, hey, mailman, let's hug. No. Care about hugging no mailman? Bring my stuff. So, am I right? Bring, she said, "Bring the shoes." You said, "Shoes?" Yeah, praise God. I got three pairs of cool shoes on this trip. I paid for it. Don't worry about it. It's all right. I got ones with flowers on them. My mom thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> They're hot. They're bad. Ain't nobody got them in the states. I'll tell you that. You'd like them. They're artsy. What's going on in that noggin? All right. So did you get it? I'll show them to you one day. They're cool. Did you get it? You see what I'm saying? Okay, so they're not your thoughts, so why are you taking ownership of them like they're yours? So when the delivery guy brings the box, you don't hug the delivery guy. You just take the package. Right? So chill out. Wait a minute. Stop hugging these thoughts. They're not yours. Look at the package and figure out whether you can accept it or not. Some of these people, you know, you got to say, return the sender. I don't want that. Come on. Some of you be like, oh, address unknown. Come on. Come on. I won't sound like Elvis there. Hey, come on. No, maybe not. All right, I don't even know if Elvis sings that song. I don't know. I'm going to gift. Just leave me alone. Right? And bring it to captivity. Every day. Do you get me? Return this sin to get rid of this. Say mine. Why are you taking ownership? See, the devil make you think they're yours. Everybody say this. I am a spirit. I have a soul. I live in a body. So I'm a spirit. So what, was I, so what am I saying? Some of those thoughts that come to you are not yours. So what do you got to filter? You got to filter them to say, hey, is that me or not? And can I think about it or not think about it? Because that's what Philippians said, think on by on these things, the pure, the just, the lovely, the good report. If not, get rid of it. Because they're not yours. You see it? So if it's not yours, why are you meditating on it? Hey, why are you meditating on broke? That ain't your idea. Why are you meditating on sick? That ain't your idea. Why are you meditating on it not working? That's not your idea. I'm with God. Hey, come on. You see it? I'm like, God, 
So if I'm like, God, why am I thinking ungodly ideas? Because the devil slipped them in there, man. Now you're meditating on them. And what happens after you meditate on this stuff too long? You mess up your peace. Now it's in your spirit, and you're all messed up. And guess what happens when it gets in your heart? Now it's trying to come out your mouth. Now you got a problem. Now you're planting these crazy thoughts. See it? That's why it's a seed in your head. But as long as you keep it as a seed in your head and not a, listen to me, as long as you keep it as a seed in your head and don't allow it to become a seed in your mouth, you don't have to pay for the harvest that comes out of it. Don't speak it. If I put a seed on that, let me ask you a question. If I took a corn seed right now and left it on that pulpit for 20 years, would it produce anything? No, but the minute I put it in the right soil and put, bury it, that joker's going to grow like a weed. Just keep it out of the wrong element. Don't say it. Okay? Now watch this. Here's the work. Bring, nope, go back. Bring into captivity every thought. Oh, great. Now, let me tell you, that's not really a big thing. It seems big when I make it sound like it's big. It's not. You think you got to sit there every minute of every day? But there's about five of them, 10 of them, 15 of them a day. Now, let me show you why some of you got a bigger problem. Okay? Now, you're going to like me here or you're not going to like me. But I'm going to come here to be your friend. Okay. The people that do not go, you better pay attention. This is why you got the problems you got, some of you. The people that do not govern their thoughts at all, they come faster, longer, stronger, and they don't stop. So, the level of what you do not discipline, you've opened the door to more. So what am I saying? If you're daydreaming and you creating and you, you go out and left field, I do not allow my mind to daydream. I do not allow it. I do not allow it. I calculate what I can meditate on or I do not meditate on it at all. I don't daydream. It took me 20-something years to figure this out. You said you don't daydream about nothing. Nothing do I daydream about. Not a thing. I calculate every thought. If it isn't something that I could see God creating, I don't even put it in my head. Does the devil try to give you bad ideas? Yeah, but you know what I do? I cast them down. You mean, you ever, you ever think of dying? Not a day in my life. You ever think of something going wrong? Not a day in my life. If it tries to come on me, you know what I do? I refuse it. It's going to be, you know what's crazy? This is how I learned this. You have to sensitize your spirit to be so, so tender towards God because it, God couldn't even speak to my mind to get me to understand something. He'd have to only speak to my spirit. Because my mind will reject it because I've trained myself to reject thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. So if God's going to speak to me about something, it ain't going to come from an outward source. It's going to have to come from an inward spiritual revelation because I'll reject everything I say. It's, it, it, you start getting out in this thing because I don't allow any negative tell me. You ever had a bad idea about something? No, I, I cast them all down. So if God's going to tell me something, I've got to be led by the Spirit of God. That's why the higher up you go, the more weight you got to this man. It, it, it becomes more spiritual. Because I don't think bad ideas. See what I'm saying? So you don't allow yourself to think bad ideas. You're getting better at it. Don't be tough on yourself. I'm not going to be like these, goo these dudes tell you, oh, it's easy. It took me 20-something years. It ain't easy. It's work. But it ain't bad work. It's good work. So you start somewhere. I had to start where you started. I thought I was losing it. I was like, oh, my God, what kind of cruddy Christian am I? I got to be the cruddiest Christian in the world. You shouldn't be thinking things like this, saved reading books, reading Believer's Authority, and I'm thinking this crazy stuff. I'm like, oh, my God. I was in Bible school. I was like, oh, i got to be the worst student in this joint. You know what I'm saying? I was in Bible school. I'm at Ramah, my God in heaven. I'm thinking like, oh, my God. I don't even want to tell anybody what I'm thinking. You know, it wasn't bad, but it was like, oh, my God. How can you be like, you know, you're crazy. it's the same stuff you're thinking. Yeah, you don't know. Did you not notice? 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Right? Isn't that the one where it says, don't think a strange thing, what you're going through? Everybody's going through the same thing. There's a way of temptation. There's a way of escape. Everybody's got the same temptation. You're going through the same stuff. You didn't know that? Yeah, Kenneth Hagin went through this stuff. Oral Roberts went through this stuff. Brother Norman went through this stuff. All your favorite TV preachers, they went through it. Kenneth Copeland went through this stuff. Everybody went through it. They just don't. Joyce Myers, who you like, name them. They all got to go. It's a rite of passage. You got to do it. Come on, you understand? Ain't nobody. You got the same stuff. They all had it too. Brother Hagin said one time he was praying, right? You know, you read his books, you know, your Bible school. He was praying, and he prayed for an hour, and the devil came and said, what do you think you're doing? He said, you don't shut up and stop bothering me about this. He said, I'm going to pray another hour. He came back. He said, okay, I'll pray another hour. He stood there and prayed another hour. After another hour of prayer, here come the devil again. You don't think this is going to work, do you? He said, you better shut up. He came to him again. He said, no. He said, he prayed another hour. He prayed four and a half hours. 
Now, I'm not saying you got to pray four and a half hours, but guess what? you got to be persistent in continually casting down wrong ideas. Ain't that good? Say, oh, I don't want to do it. Nobody wants it, do we? you got to do it. You see what I'm saying? you got ideas coming to your head you need to get rid of because they're not you. That's how you do it. Well, so I think they're me. They feel real. Yeah, the devil's real good at counterfeiting, making you feel. Feel. You don't live in what you feel. You live in what you believe. Feelings are my soul speaking to me. My body trying to tell me something. Okay? Bringing into captivity every thought to do be discretion. What's that mean? Now, here's the kicker. After I get it, everybody say, after I bring it into obedience, I got to discipline it. That's where the work comes. Go to the next verse. Isn't this good? You never had an original thought a day in your life. Don't take ownership of it. It's not yours. Don't take ownership of it. You know what's funny? You know, like all those feelings you get? They're not yours. You ever get jealous? That ain't you. You ever get mad? That ain't you. You ever get this? That ain't you. I'm telling you God's honest truth. I can fix all of you. It's your, it's your, listen, it ain't really you. It ain't you. It's an idea that creates a suggestion, and behind it, there's an attachment. But if you reject this, the picture of it, guess what happens? You won't get it. Are you cool with that? Are you seeing it? Cain and Abel, what was that all about? Jealousy. Why was it all about jealousy? Because favor hit him, and he got mad about it. And when favor hits somebody else's life, if you don't understand how to process it, you'll get jealous too. Why you get that? So you know what you do? Say, not any of my thought. <laughs> See, you got, can, can, am I getting somewhere yet? Can I give you this? Are you all right? Can I have like four minutes? I was gone last week. Can I have four minutes? Okay, good. Can I have four minutes? Can you get this? He just gave me ten. I like Ed. You stay. Right? Can you get this? Can you get this? It's not you. What you mean? It's a feeling. You think your feelings are you? You're a spirit. I have a soul. I, can, I could feel, God didn't make us all goofy, but if you got jealous, guess what? That ain't really you. That's an idea coming to you. What would happen if you flip it? It would go away. You ever get angry? Come on, right? You get angry? What happens if you just diffuse it and flip it? You're not angry no more. You see it? It's not you. Where did it come from? You see what I'm saying? Because see, here's the problem with you. This is, this is how, because this bugged me too. I asked 100,000 questions to figure this stuff out, right? I said, well, why did they even got to come? He said, because you're the only creature that's touched the fall and touched the blessing. No one else has. Well, what do you mean? God only speaks life. Devil only speaks death. You're the only being that can speak death or life. It's in the power of your tongue to create. That's because you're the only being that's ever touched both worlds. So since you've touched both worlds, you're open in the arena of your heart to I suggestions. It's in the spirit. Because, man, remember when God, you can play. I'll be here all night if you don't. But remember when God blew breath into Adam's nostrils and he became a living soul? When spirit came into body, he became a soul, a living soul. So when spirit goes into body, man became a living soul. Guess what? That, that's you and me. Hello? But when spirit and body connected, let's just say this. Spirit and soul, can remember this. All right, I'm trying to detach, but let me go slow. When spirit and soul connect, it's in the arena of the heart. Okay? Spirit connects you to the God side. Soul connects you to the human side. It's in the heart that that's found, and that's why it's open to either place. If you close your soul in an arena, you can't open your spirit up, so that's where rejection comes in. But the minute your soul and your spirit agree, now it can flow through your body. Do you see it? So when your soul goes, I'm mad, your spirit doesn't want to connect to that. Kenneth Hagin said something one time I thought he was wrong. I said, I can't believe he just said that. He said, your spirit signs off on your sin. I said, man, you can't say that. He's right, though. Because your soul comes up with an idea, and even though your spirit's not down with it, it agrees with it. Otherwise, you wouldn't do it. I ain't scared of the devil. I'm scared of you. You're the scariest person walking on the face of the earth. Because a human soul, you can't break it, and neither can Jesus. It has to freely give up its own will. It got messed up in the garden because free will is never supposed to be on man's agenda. Free will was never designed by God. It came because of the fall. God just wants yes out of you, nothing else. 
God didn't want nothing out of you, but yes, free will came in when sin showed up. Now choice showed up. Why was choice? Because choice came from sin. The second voice you hear in your life is the voice that tries to destroy you. It's everybody. Because the voice, first voice is always usually pretty much God. It's the second one you're going to have to really figure out. God will come with direction, but the enemy always comes with something else. That second voice is the voice you've got to watch. So what do I got to do? I got to discipline it. How do I discipline it? Correct it with the word. Out loud. What did Jesus do? He spoke. It's written. And he showed him what the Bible said. You start showing the devil what the Bible said, he will start leaving you alone. See, you're not desperate enough to get him to leave you alone yet until you start talking back. And don't spend most of your time occupied with this. Be quick and be short. When it's too much, oh, you know what? It ain't going to be. It's going to be what I say it's going to be. And walk away. I had, to, I had to cast devils out of the one lady at the one place we were gone. And you know, it wants to, I, I knew what it was doing. It tries to be distracting. The devil just wants to be distracting. So all he wants to do is distract. And I'm trying to get to other people, and I was like, that's the end of this nonsense. Shut up and cut it out. Because you're not going to try to distract me from getting where i got to get to. That's all he tries to do is distract you. You know why? Because he knows this. Your focus is the most important thing you've got in the arena of that. Because if you can focus, you've got power and potential to create. So what's he trying to do? Mess your focus up. He's after your focus. Broken focus, broken dream. If you don't focus hard enough on something, you'll never see it. And you got to do the seeds to go with it. You seeing it? So what do you do? You got to discipline it out of your mouth. You understand that? You understand that? You got to say it out of your mouth. And stop being a little baby Christians. Well, I'm not. Take you to a football game. You're screaming like a wild nut. Take you somewhere else. You got something to say. Park in your parking space in the back. Uh, you mad. Some of you, don't say you don't get excited. If the neighbor runs over your flowers with his car, you're mad. Come on. You got to get a little oomph to you sometimes. And you ain't got to scream and yell, the devil and God ain't deaf. You got to just get authoritative, though. So that's that. No, that ain't happening. I, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Okay? And you might not know all the fancy words. Here's the number one thing to do. Filter it through love. Write that down. If a thought, idea, and suggestion doesn't have love attached to it, throw it away. It didn't come from God because God is love. Is that okay? You know what I mean by that? If it ain't filtering through love, get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? So you can't, you can't be thinking thoughts. If it doesn't have love connected to it, get rid of it. Is that all right? Is that a, that's good? You got it? I'll talk more about it next week. You good with that? We'll come back next week. I'll talk more. You got to control your head. But once you got them on the run, so here's what's going to happen. You want to hear the good news? Okay. Once you start opening your mouth, you can stand up on your feet. Once you start opening your mouth, guess what's going to happen? Once you start opening your mouth, guess what's going to happen? He's going to stop talking. Then you can get so good, you're going to stop even thinking these thoughts. It'll work. Listen to me. If you start disciplining it, you'll get so good at it, not even with your mouth, you discipline it, it'll stop coming. And then you'll get so good, you won't even think it. I'm telling you, you won't even think it. You'll be so disciplined because you won't, yeah, you get good at it. You get good at it by practicing it. Is that okay? Lift your hand. I'm in a really good anointing right now. Lift your hands to heaven. If you've been having real, uh, Russell, help me. If you've been having real problems with your mind, come down here now. If you've been having, and don't worry about this family church. If you got problems with your mind, run down here like something's going to happen. I'm telling you, I'm in an anointing. Lauren, you're going to have to pray. You're going to have to play, not pray. I'll do the praying, you do the playing. All right? Come down here, lift your hands to heaven. I'm in a really strong gift, Russell, so stay with me. Like, it's going to hit. It's going to be like, yeah, it's going to be like a, t- a strong hit. If you guys got to go, I understand. You can be good. Listen to me. Stop sitting there like, like being weird because I'm going to get on some of you right now. There's like five of you. I, what do I mean by you've been fighting in your head? You got ideas that are almost not even, I don't want to say they're tormenting you, but they're messing up your head and they're messing up your peace. So if you don't have peace and it's like bombarding in your head, like, you know, I'm kind of stressed out, and I'm kind of pressed, or I'm kind of like, I'm kind of almost depressed. And some of you, you deal with, you'd almost be clinically depressed, and your mental space ain't firing right in an arena, and you need, deli- you need help, okay? This ain't bad. You just need some help. If I needed help, I'd be down here. But if you got ideas in your head, and you know you need some freedom there, get out of your seat, come down here. Ain't nobody going to think you're weird, think you're out in left field. What do you care anyway? Y'all don't understand that stuff. Don't even get into all that stuff. I'm in a really good anointing. I'm telling you, if you need freedom, freedom's in this house. 
So I'm going to wait one more minute, and then I'm going to go. And if you ain't in the line, then you're going to miss it. And you might have been waiting 20 years for this, and I'm in a good anointing right now. Why wouldn't you get it? I must slipped in a gift a little while ago. And we, Mr. Williams, stay right there. See, that's the power of God coming on her. Watch Leah. What's the power of God touch her? I ain't even going to touch him in here. Power of God's in here. Look, that ain't about that. It's about the anointing. Chris, get ready. The power of God's in here. He's like a ton of bricks. Don't miss this kid. Power, watch it work. Power, watch it work. I'm gone. Close your eyes. Lift your hands to heaven. Just get ready. I'm not rude. I'm just telling you what's happening in here. Watch the anointing. It's going to be like, ching, 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 ching. You're going to get free in the arena of your mind. The devil's trying to torment you. Go. Go. Leave her alone. Set her free now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Loose her, let her go. Right now. Bam. Watch. Loose her, let her go. Now. Right now. Every mental assignment that came against her life, I break it right now in Jesus' name. Freedom. You're going to get up and feel lighter. 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 Hey, watch the anointing. Bam. Don't get nervous. I don't want it on me. Choo. Bang. Power in Jesus' name. Lift your hands to heaven. As soon as you come down here, just get ready. Watch the anointing. The anointing is real strong in here. You're doing great. Ready? Get ready. Mr. Williams, you got her? You're right. Oh, you're going to a whole new place. You've never seen, you didn't even believe where you're going. You're not even going to believe where you're going. You're not even going to believe where you're going. Watch this. Oh, yeah, all that breakthrough is going to hit right now. Chow, right now in Jesus' name. I told you. Let Dominic, lift your hands to heaven. Don't get nervous. Lift your hands to heaven. Get ready to surrender. Get, lift your hands to heaven. Get ready to surrender. Get ready to surrender. Get ready to surrender. It's going to feel like. So it feels like. What's that mean? It's going to hit you like. It's going to hit you like that. Yeah, there you go. It's like a wave. Just go over there. Go over there. You're doing good, man. Just watch the people. Ready? Watch this. You've been, you've been tormented. Come take a step this way. You've been tormented with grief. Lift your hand to heaven. Yeah, you're in grief. It's trying to kill you is what it's trying to do. It's messing up your heart, and it's messing up your head. It's messing up everything. I don't even know what's going on, but I'm right because I'm gone. When you're gone like this, you get it. It's messing you up. You don't even want to live no more, which is really wild, but that's okay because I'm going to break it off. You close your eyes and don't worry about it. I didn't say that to expose you. Everybody in here loves you, and it's a hard season, and I understand that. But you better get ready in Jesus' name. Go right now in Jesus' name. And just help me. That's good, Russell. You're doing good. I'm going to, yeah, they're, they're, it's all, stay, yeah, keep, yeah, keep my dude. I'm going to come get him. Yeah, it gets weighty, you know. They almost fall heavier. You notice that? Yeah, because he hits them like that. It's weight. Weight touches their spirit. Uh, you might want to take one step this way. Yeah, you're doing good, buddy. Lift your hands down. Wow, you got a bright future, man. I could see it, but you got to believe it. And boom, there you go. Pow! Right there in the inside. Power. It works like that. If you need to be down here, you need to run. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even wait. I'm like, I'm in that spot right now. I'm like in that spot. You know what I mean? It's a good spot to be in. Go right now. Go right now. Go right now. You'll be all right. Just stay in that. Don't move. Go. 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 And stop thinking. Stop thinking like that. Stop thinking like that. Stop thinking like that. In Jesus' name. It's in good thoughts. Right thoughts. Your life is bright. You ain't going to be trapped in that chair forever. In Jesus' name. Miss Flory, take one step up. Take one step up. You're ready. Watch the anointing hit you. Pow. Watch the anointing hit you. You're there. Boom. You know what to do. Do it. If you're supposed to be down here, if the anointing is on you and you're supposed to be down here, come down here. They ain't going to get up quick, the ones that are laying on the ground. Just leave them alone. I ain't worried about it. It's cool. Because they're weight. It's weight. I come here to be weird. Let's come with weight. You gotta change. You gotta change your life. God can change your life. One touch from heaven, change your life forever. One touch from heaven, change your life forever. One touch from heaven will change your life forever, ever. In Jesus' name, set them free, Lord. Look at the anointing. Wow, look at the anointing. Catch Jerry. Bam. Catch Jerry. Bam. Watch him. Mr. Williams is gonna go quick like that. You ready? Jerry, just lift your hands to heaven. Just surrender. Jerry, come on. Pow. Watch it work. In Jesus' name. Say, what in the heaven have you got? What you, look at it. Watch it work. You better get ready. Lift your hands to heaven. You better get ready. Take two steps up. What? Take two steps up. Don't go nowhere. You better be careful. Watch your hands over there. Just you see where your surroundings are? Yeah, look at look over there. Uh, she ain't going nowhere. I got her locked up. Watch them back here. See it? You're good. Ready? Watch this. Bam. That's what you need sometimes. You need that stuff to lift. Anybody else need prayer? Addison, why are you sitting in the seat when you're supposed to be down here? Come on. Let's go. Wake up. Come on, run. I'm being rude with the kid, but he's if you're in that place. Don't wait. This comes on me in the leaves. It ain't for me. It's not like I stay high on, I stay lit like this all day long. You know, it comes on me, comes on me for you. I used to watch guys say this, I want it off of me. 
I didn't understand. I said, why would you want something on you so bad and then you want it off you? It comes on you so heavy for people, you don't want it on you because it's not for you. I'm smart enough to know I'm the delivery guy. You ain't going to hug me. You just want the package. I'm okay with you getting the package. But when the delivery guy shows up, I answer the door. Because I don't know when he's coming back. And he ain't coming back with this kind of stuff. That's the thing with God. He'll shut a door, and he won't open it up for a decade. I didn't wait 20 years to get. If I got to get something, it's in the room. See, don't critique what God is doing. Go get it. Don't try to figure out whether you understand it. You don't understand a lot of stuff. I don't understand half the stuff. I'm going to pray for those people watching. I had a really good anointing. We'll send the video out tomorrow about it. Just, yeah, just lay on the ground. Good. Lift your hands there. I'm telling you, we're going to pray for people. Tomorrow, pop this clip. I'm going to look into the camera. They're going to find this on the video. Don't move, nobody. Sit still. I'm going to pray for people that have been bound. Do you need to come down here? I'm in a, I'm in a mind, I'm in a mind freeing spiritual gift right now. There's weight in here. I'm going to pray for this. I'm going to video this. I'm going to send this tomorrow. You send it to everybody you know. You send it to everybody you know battling the arena of their mind. They're going to get free. We're going to send it tomorrow. Take one step up. I need, a, I, need some, I need one of you guys to help me. Or somebody come over here because we got, we got Miss. Uh, yeah, ready? Watch this. Watch the power of God. And then I'm going to pray. So don't get in the camera way because I'm going to pray. So, yeah, come to the side. And then I'm gonna, we're going to help people, okay? And then remember when we do it, we're going to launch it tomorrow. Ready? Watch this. It's going to work like a wind. It's like a wind. It's like a wind. Say, so how in the world? It's like a wind, man. Don't want to try to understand it. Forget about understanding it. Understanding it, it would mess it up. Is there anybody else? Because I'm going to come out of this, and when I come out of this, it's going to be gone. All right? So I'm going to pray. I'm going to prophesy to these people. Okay? And then you don't get in the way. So just, we're going to be all right. So just keep playing. Anybody else? I'll stop holding it, and then I'm going to let it go. And then I'm going to let it go. It's going to be gone. If you got any kind of idea, if you look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you need prayer? Say, if they do, bring them down here. Look at your other neighbor. Say, neighbor, you need prayer? If they say, yeah, bring them down here. If not, I'm going to pray. Okay, good with me. You ready? Anybody else? All right, listen. I'm going to pray for these people. We're in a good anointing. Just play it. You guys agree with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're going to pray right now. Don't get in the way of the camera. What are you doing? you got to be from Kentucky. Get out of the way. Listen. Father, in the name of Jesus. I love. I, <laughs> Father, I pray right now. Now, listen. We go, we're going to get this out. Father, right now I'm praying. There's an anointing in here that's setting people free in the arena of their mind. And if you've been dealing in the arena of your mind, you've been burdened, you've been depressed, You've been suicidal. You've been attacked in the arena of your mind. You don't feel like you can. You feel like you're worthless. You don't feel like God's going to come through. I don't know. Whatever you're battling right now, there's an anointing in here to set you free right now. The anointing is thick in here, and it's going to flow right now. Whatever device you're watching this on, it's going to touch your life. It's going to set your mind free. Grief is going to leave your life. Burdens are going to leave your life. Mind-binding spirits are going to leave your life. Everything that's trying to oppress you, depress you, make you suicidal, trying to make you crazy, whatever it is you're going through, it's going to release you now because the anointing is going to set you free right now in Jesus' name. And I release that anointing to touch you right now where you are. And I set them free now in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, for freedom and supernatural ability flowing in them now to give them freedom from this moment forward. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody said amen. We thank the Lord. Amen. Come on. Clap your hands together. Believe God. Expect more. Come in here. Come, I'm telling you, come in here Sunday. Come in here Sunday with praise on your mind. Amen. We're going to a whole other level of praise. Amen. Lift your hands up and just thank Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for the power of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And everybody said, amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah.